What's up everyone? Welcome back to the vlog. Today I'm gonna go run some errands. I first need to go drop off, actually no, first I need to go get a coffee from Starbucks. I'm gonna get the Grande Ice Brown Sugar Shaken Espresso with one pump of brown sugar, one pump of white mocha. It's so good, try it out, let me know if you like it. Then I have some donations to go drop off and then I'm gonna go pick up this new task light. It's a floor task light that I found at My Sister's Addict, which is like a secondhand home store. And when I went there the first time, I was actually shopping for my client. This could potentially go to my client, but I'm hoping that it's something that we keep. They, when I took it up to have them ring it up, they said it was sold. And I was like, what? No, dang it. And I was so bummed. Like, I was just like, oh man, like this is a really nice deal for these because I see them on Restoration Hardware. And even on Amazon, you know, this was a better deal than, than a nice one on Amazon. So they called me and said that they don't know what happened, but it doesn't look like it's sold after all. And if I want it, I can come get it. And I was like, yes, so I paid over the phone and now I'm gonna go pick it up. So I'm so excited to get that piece. I just feel like it's very, like a nice piece for a home, so. Welcome to Starbucks from Food Items. Can we get started for you? Have you guys ever noticed the Kardashians? Like me, I'll, I'll full on have like a double chin down here, but the Kardashians have their face straight and then their eyes down like this. I've been trying it, it's not comfortable. Oh. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, 623 today. I do really like the new biodegradable straws that are like plastic. I hate the, the paper straws. Okay, let's see what the caramel tastes like. It's not as good as the white mocha, but it's good. It is good. Yeah, I gotta put the hospice place that I donate. It's called White Dove in the Valley. Um, they are also a thrift store, but you can donate to them. And I like to donate to them over Goodwill. It's 11 minutes away, so we are going to go. Starting route to White Dove Thrift Shop. There. Okay. Proceed to the route. Guys, I don't know if you can quite see the light, but I got it. So pretty. So this is the light. I know you couldn't really tell in the car, but you can see it's one of those little task lights and I have it just right here for now. The only thing is that this part doesn't like love to stay up so we're gonna have to fix it i think we could put a piece of rubber in there or something to kind of hold it up and kind of reinforce it and maybe it's like a permanent thing i'm not sure it is so pretty i love it right here on the couch i feel like it really elevates the space and my vision is to really have this over like a little chair or something in the future so i don't know i really like it and then do you like it babe yeah it's cute right and so you can see like if you're reading a book or oops light went a little crazy well as you can see it works <laughs> but if you're reading a book or something you can just task put the little task light on and i love it i love the one you brought and i i really am digging the one you bought in the corner i know for a couple weeks ago. if you guys missed the last vlog this is the light Zach is talking about. You guys saw in my antique shop with me, I picked this one up. I think this one was like $80. The little task light I got for 70 after tax, around $70 after tax. But this one is just so beautiful. So slowly but surely, we're upgrading our lighting. All right, you guys, I got in all of my Abercrombie stuff that I ordered. I shared it over on Instagram and on the community page. So some of you may know that I did some shopping. Now, it's not going to be fall here in Arizona until like January. So I'm not gonna be able to wear a lot of these clothes right now, but I do know a lot of you guys live in colder climates and we're going back to Oregon in the fall. That's where we're from and we're gonna go back and visit family and I think we're gonna go back for Thanksgiving. We're still kind of like working out the details, but 
I will get good use of these clothes, especially there, but I love what I got so far. Now I'm gonna do a try on. The first, I mean, hopefully it all fits, but seeing the items and kind of feeling the quality, you guys know I'm a huge fan of Abercrombie and their quality never seems to disappoint. So let's get into this haul. First being this cardigan. Now I've always loved cardigans, especially back when we lived in Oregon. They're such a cozy way to add layers to your outfit, but I feel like you gotta make sure you style them well or they can look a little frumpy so i kind of like to have you know maybe a little bit of tummy out you know maybe throw it off your shoulders and kind of give it a little bit more of like a stylish look and feel but sometimes it's cold and you can't be having your shoulders out i mean you can also you know tie it up or tuck it in if you're wearing jeans and that's it other cute look but let me show you guys this one in the mirror all right guys this is the cardigan do you remember that mirror i bought from the antique store i still need to work on it but this is the cardigan and like i said if you're wearing it like this it can look a bit tailored and it is really pretty and this one's actually really really nice i think the the fabric is chenille i could that could be wrong but i really like how this one feels if I wanted it to feel a little bit more stylish and maybe feel like a little less tailored, I would throw it off my shoulder like I was saying. But this is the cardigan and I really, really love it. I think it's such a nice cardigan and it is so warm. We keep our AC on, so I mean, you have to here in Arizona, but it's actually a nice little cozy piece to just wear around the house as well. I don't necessarily need to it to be cold outside to wear this because I think I'll really get a lot of use out of this already right now being in the cold house. Okay, this dress is so good, you guys. Oh my gosh. Now, I got it in a medium. It's, it could be a little tighter around the bust area. However, it does have a adjustable strap right down the spine which is like so sexy i you guys i don't know what it is about a satin dress but i feel like i can like take on the world it's just it makes you feel mm, just so good anyway this one i was a little nervous because sometimes when i order satin in my regular size i cannot i cannot get in it there's no give so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna order a medium, see how it fits. Hopefully it does. Sometimes they fit, sometimes they don't. You guys know how it is, but it fits so well. Like I said, other than maybe right here a little bit, but let me show you, it's just so good. <laughs> I'm freaking out because these are hard to find. So this is the dress. I think they have it in a couple other colors too. I think I could be wrong, but I feel like I I feel like they did. Now, like I said, this part I could you know kind of tighten up, but it just hugs the curves so beautifully. You have a little bit of room, so you don't feel like so like tight and you can't move. I have a couple dresses like that, and they get a little annoying. You can you know tape your girls up if you want a little bit more lift, but mmm. You guys, it's so pretty. I love it. 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 I'm going to see if they have more colors because if they do, I'm getting more. Okay, so when I was shopping this time, I thought, you know, I think I'm ready to be a little more sophisticated. Like, I just want to like polish up my wardrobe a little bit more. I am an athleisure girl and I think I always will be, but I find myself having trouble sometimes when we're going out to dinner or meeting friends or have things to do like i don't have anything i'm just like how can i make leggings work you know what i mean so i figured you know what brandy it's time to grow up it's time to like maybe satisfy that little I don't know. I've, I always admire women that are super polished and put together. And I mean, it's always the fashion I'm looking at, especially over on Pinterest, like things that I pin. I love a polished look, but I'm going to be real. Sometimes I feel like it can be a challenge to find 
good things to fit a curvy body. And maybe that's me just not trying a lot and just being like, it's oversized, it doesn't work or whatever. So that being said, things that are a bit more oversized doesn't always flatter my body shape because I am more curvy. I need to show off those curves. However, I thought, you know what? No, just because I'm curvy doesn't mean I can't wear the trends or whatever. But I do want them to be a little bit more long lasting. So it was like, okay, I gotta find a balance. So I bought this blazer, which blazers, I feel like I was like, I'm never wearing a blazer again because I used to wear them when I would photograph weddings. Like I would just wear a black blazer, black slacks, and like that was my wardrobe. So or sometimes I'd wear like a jumpsuit under the blazer and I was like, I never wanna see a blazer again in my life because when you're outside shooting a wedding in 100 degree weather in a blazer, ugh, not fun. However, I gave her some time and now she's okay, she can do the blazer. Let me show you guys this blazer. So I found this one, obviously on Abercrombie. I was gonna get it in the black as well, but I thought I need to try this one first and see. I have a black blazer still from photography. I believe I haven't gotten rid of it yet. And I feel like if I wore like leggings or even skinny jeans, which I know are like not the thing right now, but for curvy women, I feel like if you do something kind of like loose and oversized, you gotta kind of counter that with something tight fitting. So I'm gonna put this on for you guys with like some leggings or, you know, I don't actually think I have any skinny jeans right now, but I feel like if you balance it that way, like if you're wearing something loose, counter it with something tight and that way you can still kind of show off your curves so you don't feel like you're swimming in your clothes and for me swimming in my clothes is not a good thing but i like this i like this a lot i feel like it fits perfectly i don't know roll up the sleeves it gives it a little bit of a stylish look if i had the right accessories on i mean this could be a vibe what do you guys think are we into blazers are we not let me know. I okay, got my leggings on. Let me show you. So this is how I would wear an oversized blazer or jacket or top. I'd wear it with leggings or skinny jeans because I feel like it balances the oversize. So you can still kind of see, oh, she's a curvy girl and you're not like losing your curves and also not swimming in your clothes. You guys, I was thinking that something wasn't gonna work so far has been such a win including this blazer coat I think is what it's called it's in this like gray houndstooth print print <laughs> I don't wear a lot of prints but I'm super into I don't know what's happening to me I'm just kind of like really starting to like prints not only in home decor but also in fashion I love this so much i feel like it's the perfect fit let me show you the full body so i think it's the perfect fit i really really love it probably even more than the blazer i just had on i like that it goes to like my mid thigh for some reason i feel like it elongates me especially in like real life but I just feel like it's a really nice tailored look. I could dress this up. I could dress it down. I could, you know, not wear heels, put on a pair of tennis shoes. I feel like it's just such a good coat and it's really warm. I can tell already, maybe it's because I'm changing so much, but I got it in a size medium. I absolutely, absolutely love it. By the way, everything that I'm trying on will be linked down below. I will also put all of my sizing down below in case I forget to say it in the video because I'm sure I have. Pretty much I order everything in a medium, but if there's anything that I ordered in another size, I'll be sure to make sure to list that down below. But you guys, this coat, it's so beautiful. There was another brown coat that I shared on the collage. I'll put a picture up that I really wish I would have got now. So I might have to get back on and order that one because I feel like I'll wear that one a ton. But I'm into this look, you guys. I love it. I feel so like 80s, you know? But I'm, I'm really into it. Okay, so the next 
little coat that I got. I actually thought this would be the most flattering to my body shape. But honestly, I feel like it's my least favorite as far as the print. This one's that, what do they call that style that's going around? Coastal Grandma, I think is what it is. This feels very Coastal Grandma to me. I do like it, and there's also a picture of this little cropped coat blazer situation with a matching skirt and top that was on the Abercrombie website. I don't know if I saw the skirt. It was a whole matching set. It was super cute, but I thought I'm gonna give it a try. I like it. I don't know if I love it. Got this in a size medium. Let me show you guys. I feel like after trying on some of the other stuff and it working, I mean, it it is cute and it's very flattering to my body. I don't know, actually it is cute. <laughs> Maybe I take back everything I just said. Because this could be a vibe for like brunch or, you know, that kind of thing. It's really cute actually. Never mind, I take it all back. I actually really like it. Okay, I'm going to take a quick break. Zach made lunch, so... We're gonna eat. We're making that, or we're eating the pizza again. If you missed our last vlog, Zach went in detail about this. Our friend's brother came out with a hot sauce and we were like, oh, we'll try it with the pizza. So we're just trying this out. It's called Regal Gecko. We've never tried it. No. I just took off the seal. It's kind of like a classic mango habanero. So Ooh, see. mango? Yeah. I might like that. Neither of us like too spicy. Mm -mm. So we'll be real. But yeah, it's our friend's yeah. brother. And I hot think you sauce. can buy it off of Amazon. Yeah, you can. We'll link it. Um, but we're gonna try it first. Should oh, it? it smells good. Does it? Yeah. Oh I'm yeah. I'm not like a big hot sauce person, but I I do like a little kick, like and and hot sauce that gives you a little flavor. I think we're the same. Yeah. Uh, I think it says put it on. It said it somewhere. Oh, I think it came with a card. But one of the things that said to put it on is pizza. So we're like, oh, it's the oh, perfect yeah. time to try it. Yeah. And we like to do like a little hot sauce on burritos and different stuff, a quesadillas. I'm a little wimp though, so I know, if it's too, too hot or a little too much. Oh, that's a little one you wanna. I'll just try a little bit. Woo! Spicy. It's got some tang to it. No, it's not too bad. It's got a lot of flavor. Well, I was scared of the spice. It, I, it hit your tongue right away, though. It's very... Oh, it's kind of tomato-y, too, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the first ingredient is tomatoes. Man, how did you get that? I don't know. I was like, it's a little tomato-y, which is not bad, but then you get the spice and the, a little bit of mango. Yeah. You want to try it on yeah, pizza? Yeah, let's try it. Which, this actually might be perfect on t pizza because... It's more of a tomato oh, taste. Oh, yeah. Base. Yeah, good thinking. You guys have seen my friend Diana. She sent it over and was like. Yeah, it's her husband's. It's her brother in law, but our friend in Benjamin and Diana, mm -hmm. it's theirs. It's like the perfect amount of heat to me. And it does add a lot of flavor. I like it. I could see using that on a lot of different things, actually. Right. Eggs, yeah, that would be a good one. I that's really good. Mm -hmm. Great flavor. We'll link it down below. Okay, we got these. Have you guys heard of these? I shared this over on Instagram asking if you guys have heard of them, but they are, I think they're Cardi B's product. Basically, it's a vodka infused whipped cream. Which I think this could be good on like an espresso martini, a dessert, a brownie. <laughs> I don't know. But we're gonna try the actually you wanna try them right now? Let's just try them right now. It's fine. We're not driving anywhere. Okay. These are the smaller ones. They had three flavors. They had caramel, vanilla, and a mocha one. They had the big ones too, but I was like, I don't oh, we know. We gotta try these first. And we I just got two of them. So they do have a mocha. It is shelf stable. And it says, do not refrigerate even after opening if you have any left. So <laughs> you try that one. Here, let me feed one. it to you. Okay. <laughs> this feels so... Like... I don't know if it, I should have put it in the fridge. Okay. Just a little bit. Okay. 
No, that's dangerous. Is it? You're right. If you were having like an espresso martini. Oh, you get the alcohol though. Woo! Really? Yeah. Or a brownie? You like you said, or lose some ice cream. Yeah, here, try it. It's boozy, obviously. Yeah, it's a little boozy. It's good, huh? Ooh. <laughs> I mean, Cardi B would be the one to come out with something like this, but. I like how we're on pizza and vodka shots right now. <laughs> it actually, you really get the alcohol. I think it said it was like ten percent. Okay, you try the vanilla one. Okay. Yeah, it's ten percent. They're both good. I like the caramel one a little better. They're strong. I like this one better. You do? Mm -hmm. That one's sweeter. The caramel's sweeter, so that's probably why. I don't know how practical these would be, but I think if you were doing like a boost, like a bourbon brownie, and then have some of this yeah. on top, or anything I, like yeah. that. What do you, have you guys tried these? What do you do? Do you just like stay at the pool and just like do, do whipped cream shots? You could do that, but I think for like I mean, I can think of some things that are more. Brandy. <laughs> Brandy. I'm just kidding. I'm joking. Just kidding. Um. Yeah, they're ten percent. I think these. I think they were like six or seven bucks, and this is a little one. But I yeah, think they'll probably nice. last a while, a while. Yeah, they're really good. Ten out of ten. Ten Love out of ten. Man. They're good though. Popcorn. I don't yeah. know if you guys like popcorn. I'm in say, a kit. The oh, he's been making popcorn every day. I bought. It. I'm gonna show you when, when I make it. Yeah. Brady's gonna go. We're gonna eat our pizza. I bought this silicone little thing to make popcorn, and then I bought this stuff off the internet. <laughs> Off the internet. Solidify it a little bit. This coconut oil butter, butter flavored coconut oil, and this like seasoning salt. Okay. Well, I should make it after we eat. Yeah, or we'll make it tonight. We'll make sure we vlog it. We won't forget. But it's just granted you have to spend like a little bit, but then you have popcorn, hot movie popcorn at your feet. Yes. Time. So good. I've been making it twice a day lately. <laughs> I know. I was like, we need to calm down with the snacks. But, but popcorn's good. No, I know, I know. Probably not the butter and the that seasoning, but I yeah. do a little less this time. To be honest, I could eat popcorn with pretty much like no flavoring. I just really like the flavor of like the popcorn. But yeah. we'll show you guys. We'll pop back on after I'm done with like my try on and share that with you guys because Zach had to do it a couple different times to kind of perfect it. Yeah. But, but anyway. Alright. Now I'm all boozed up. <laughs> I know. I actually bought my first fall decor piece and I'm gonna style it with you guys right now real quickly this is what I bought I got this off Amazon it's wool so it's not like cozy super soft but if you added this like on top of like the end of your bed and you had like your duvet or you know you had a sheet underneath whatever it you know it'd be fine it'd be super warm it's very 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 nice quality one of the nicer quality amazon pieces i have found the only thing i really don't like about it is this huge tag which i'm gonna see if i can actually tear the what's that called like seam but for now i kept the tag on just to be sure that i'm gonna keep it but i thought oh my gosh i've been wanting to do something like this on the back of our couch for a while this really does help elevate your space a lot let me just go ahead and put it back here oh it's so pretty and what's pretty is this like piece right here is more brown and our couch is like a gray brown so it really complements our couch really really well and what's cool about a plaid print or even like stripes is you can really kind of line it up so it's not super crooked. Okay. You guys, this is gorgeous. This really cozies up the space. I've been really, really, really into textures lately and just kind of adding that into our home. Now I am keeping it so I can go ahead and take the tag off. I absolutely love it and feel like it really helps cozy up the space. Gorgeous. Doesn't that look nice? Yeah. I gotta straighten it out, but. Am I allowed to use it? Yeah, but it is wool, so. No, it's nice. It makes, it changes it up too. Yeah, doesn't it feel like 
yeah. like so high end. Mm -hmm. Feels luxurious. Anyway, I thought I would share this with you guys. Got it off Amazon, I'll link it. It's so, so beautiful. All right, ate lunch. Now we're back to the try on. Next is this, it's kind of like a cream satin shirt. I love this. I bought this in black last year. I got a size large. I wanted it to feel a little flowy. Last year I wore the black satin top like this so much. Anytime I was like, you know that safe outfit where you're like, I have nothing to wear, whatever, I'm just gonna put this on. That was this, this satin top in black last year. I don't know if they have it in black this year. I would assume so, but I got it in this cream and I love it. Let me show you full body so you can kind of get the whole vibe. Okay, so this is how it looks. Like I said, I love to put this on when, you know, for instance, a really great example of this would be cooking Thanksgiving dinner all day. You don't have time to think about your outfit maybe if you didn't think about it prior to Thanksgiving. All you gotta do is go through on a satin top and you look put together without actually maybe fully being all put together. I love this look. It feels chic, like effortless chic. Like I look like I spent time thinking about this outfit, but I didn't, you know what I mean? So good. Guys, I messed up on this one. I should have ordered my regular size, but with satin, I never know because sometimes I will order it and it will fit perfect, so, but more times I order it and I can't even get it close to getting on. So I figured, let me go ahead and just size up on this one. I could either go get it tailored or I'm just gonna hop on the website and see if they have my size. It's the same color as the satin button up that I just shared. So you could wear it with like both so that it's like a matching set. I would wear either like a tied up t-shirt or a tank like this. I, it's beautiful. Maybe even a blazer would be really pretty, but I love this satin skirt. What I really love about it is the slit. So you could even like turn it so you have a little slit moment. It is so pretty, especially for the holidays. Like, oh my gosh, like how beautiful is this? It's gorgeous. All right, I messed up on this dress as well. I did the same thing because the last time I ordered satin from Abercrombie, it was way too small. Like I ordered a top, I couldn't even get it over my shoulders. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna size up. Now this one, I also need to return and get my regular size, but it's so cute. Let me show you, or get it tailored, but I figure I'll just probably go ahead and go ahead and maybe order the medium and see where we are. But I normally don't go for like a short little dress like this, but I thought, why not? Let's try it out. I wore a dress recently on our vacation that's a little bit shorter. I'll put a picture in and it made me feel like, okay, I can wear this stuff. So I really, I just, I think this is so cute. Even with a little blazer over top, like say you go out to dinner and you want to feel a little, you want to feel pretty and, but it's a little chilly. Let me show you. Okay, I wasn't always into the cape look, but sometimes it really is a vibe. You know what I mean? Like it's so cute. You just feel, you feel cute and like cozy, but you could wear it regular as well. But I just thought this was such a cute little winter outfit, especially as we're transitioning into winter because this one's shorter and you can, throw on a blazer or not. It's still really cute with just the like nighty look. So cute. And then the last thing that I got is this cropped sweater. It reminded me of the time when Zach and I went to Marseille. I loved it. I thought it was so cute. I love that it's white. It's beautiful, like kind of crisp. It's preppy. I loved like the little detail on the, the um, sleeve. I just thought it was super cute. I got this in a size medium and I could see myself wearing this a ton. You could even, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, you could even do something like this. That's cute. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute, this is so cute. Anyway, I loved it. These are the items that I got. Okay, this is too hot actually though. These are all the items I got so far. I have another pair of pants coming and I think I'm gonna get on and see about a couple of things, swapping out the sizes. I might get the brown jacket that I was talking about. I'll put it on the screen. Just after trying these and falling in love, I'm like, okay, I think I might need to 
invest a little bit and kind of evaluate what I'm going to wear, what I'm not, decide on a few things, all of that. But you guys, this was a major win shopping trip at Abercrombie. I love just about everything that I got. And if I wasn't in love with it, it was just because I either ordered the wrong size or it didn't fit exactly, but I still loved the item. Like there was still potential. So such a great haul. Loved it. Let me know what was your favorite. I'll link everything down below. And um, that's it. We've been doing popcorn every day, if not twice. Bought this on Amazon? Yeah, I'll link all of this stuff down below that Zach got. Well, he bought these at Trader Joe's, but we'll link some. Yeah. I heard you get the Orville Redenbacher ones. They said the kernels, there is a difference. But these have been good. Yeah. We're gonna stay with these for right now. Yeah. Um, there's lines in here, but I bought this. So maybe there's a better way to do it. I put like a teaspoon or two in there and kind of stir it, let it pop. And then I drizzle both these over at the end. So I'll do it real quick. I wonder if we like melt that and we put it in a spray bottle. That would be like I think better. so. Or like how they do it at the movie theaters. They uh, have that No, pump. but then it's too much on uh, the popcorn. I know. We yeah. need to spray it on mm -hmm. so it gets it. But at the movie theater, you know how they yeah. pump it? They layer and then pump. Yeah. We need to get a spray bottle. I'll order one off Amazon. You ever worked at a movie theater? Yeah. Do you have any secrets? Yeah, let us know. We have been really into popcorn lately. It, I feel like it's just such a good little snack. Yeah. And we, we did What are you a, showing what you're doing? Oh, I just did a... Well, this is a tablespoon, but I did, it wasn't full. I did like a teaspoon of that just so it's coated on everything. If you have to do that or not, I don't know. So I just What's put so it in What's so special there. about this? It's just a new invention. I guess so. And it's collapsible, so you could easy to store it. Oh. And I think it just helps it pop. I don't know. Eat it out of there so it's like all. Yeah, and it's the bowl. So then you just put that right in there. And then I just do the popcorn setting on our microwave. So we'll do that. I'll take this one. I like the vanilla one better, I think. They're so strong. Like, you can really taste the vodka. Yeah, but then you still get that sweetness. Yeah, you do. I like them. They're, they're well, those fun, are good. especially if you had like a like a bachelorette a, party or something. Obviously, you do want to tell people that these are alcohol. <laughs> yeah. Don't be putting these in your fridge where your kids can get yeah. them. <laughs> but I think that it's a kind of a cool idea. Yeah. I don't know if I would like have this like a day to day thing, but for like a special thing. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, by the way, Zach got these at Total Wine. I'm sure they sell them at liquor stores. My sister was asking where to get them. We got them at Total Wine. I got them at Total Wine. There was three flavors, vanilla, caramel, and mocha. And then they had the larger one too. Yeah. So they had Seven dollars for this size. I think it was like 15 for the large one. Okay. But I just got these because I just didn't know if they'd be yeah. good or not. You know, sometimes you gotta go with the smaller one because that yeah. could be a lot of waste. Really, I'm editing this vlog right now as we speak, so oh, yeah, show how it is. Okay, I just did there's two lines in there. You could do like a half batch, or if you fill the kernels to the upper line, it does the full thing. I just did a half for it, it popped it perfectly. Like Brandy said, it might be better to get like a spray bottle or a pump, but we'll see. We'll drizzle some of that. Some two big ones for now. I don't know how much I'm supposed to put. And then this stuff is like the seasoning salt. Wait, show it again. We'll link it all, but just in case you need to see. I think this was, I forget how much this was. 15 bucks or something, I forget. These together came in a package and I think it was 25 bucks. Yeah. But they're huge, like I don't think I'll ever finish this. <laughs> and that's huge too, so. And I heard this goes a long way. So I'm just gonna sprinkle. That seems like a lot. I know. I was like, uh oh. <laughs> but. I'll do this. You don't put the lid back on and shake it? Oh, I could do that. I'm sure there's a million better ways to do it than I'm doing. <laughs> but all of our popcorn fans, yeah. this might be worth it. Which, it really does taste like movie theater popcorn, too. Yeah. When it, before I, I got this first and then ordered this before I just like a tab of butter and did it in there 
with a little bit of salt afterwards, way healthier. And like, I actually really liked it. Yeah, so you could play with it. And I know they make those things that like, you can buy them at like Fry's or Winco, the, like the seasoning popcorn ones, like ranch oh, or yeah. jalapeno. Oh yeah, jalapeno, that would be good. He's been making it a little bit different every day, so we'll yeah. see how it tastes. This looks heavily seasoned, so I might have been too much, but it's fine because it takes like two minutes. Yeah. So if see. it's too much, I just go make more. Maybe a little too much, but it tastes, actually it does. Woo, a little, a salty. little salty. Not bad. But fine. But fine. You gotta play with that. I think I'm gonna order. Brandy gave me, I was thinking for this, get like a salt shaker almost. Oh yeah. Because it's hard to do with a spoon. Like a little salt shaker. Like with those it. metal ones, the like vintage -y Yeah, and then that fun. maybe get a spray bottle or something. Yeah. Just so you could ease, because it's hard to get it perfect every time. Yeah, we can do that. I actually just linked some spray bottles on my Amazon storefront, like some cute aesthetic ones. But we need to get some flavors like uh, Maybe some like jalapeno one mm -hmm. or like a sweet, a cinnamon one. White cheddar. White cheddar. Yeah, this is so good. All right, that was fun. I'm gonna go finish editing the vlog. Thank you guys for watching another vlog. We love you guys and appreciate you so much. More than we can say. I know we say that so much, but we love you and we'll be back in a couple days with another. Bye. <laughs> I would say we were good together I would say we had fun